Hello, NoobTubers! And today, I will be reviewing Mr. Crayfish's Gun Mod. Well, hello, everybody. Don't mind me. I'm just pointing a gun at you. I don't know how loud that's going to be for you, all I know is I have really jacked up my audio before on Minecraft. I'm talking, the villagers are talking, the 50 cows are talking, and you end up hearing none of me. It's like I'm giving commentary behind village noises. So I'm going to avoid the village apart from maybe test firing a few of my weapons in the village on some of the, um residents. So nothing too cruel. I'm trying to be humane. But anyways, this is what you get. You get a pistol. You get a shotgun. You get a rifle. This is just a rifle. It's not automatic. It's semi-automatic. Get a grenade launcher. You get a bazooka. Okay, it did all of that. Well, like, Four shots of it cleaned out an island, so I don't want to destroy more of my property, so this is just a machine gun. And as you can see, these bullets do work in water. See, some bullets, I know, they'll fire some of the way and then drop down. These do not. These fire all the way through the water as if it was just air. Assault rifle. This is one of my favorites. I just wish you had a barrel extension for it, but we'll get into that in a second. Submachine gun. And now for the heavy rifle. Yeah, it shoots pretty slow. It's not my favorite, but it's actually not that bad. So here's how you're going to add attachments onto your gun. You're going to hit Z. I already have a gun here with attachments and enchantments. You can do that. But before that, I am going to show you the workbench because it is vital because this is how you're going to make everything in survival. Like this is 38 iron ingots. That's actually not bad. Okay. Bazooka. Red die, redstone, 44. 28 for the assault rifle. 32 for the grenade launcher, 14 for the pistol, 36 for the heavy rifle, 20 for the machine pistol, 24 for the rifle, shotgun is 24, and back to the minigun. And attachments, sponge, iron, you know, like, I mean, there you go, I mean, there's, there's not much to see. Grenade, stun grenade, now those are fun. Shell, you get 24, basic bullet, again, not bad, you can literally smelt just random um, armor garbage that you find from mobs and make at least 32 bullets. Missile, that's fired out of the bazooka. Advanced bullet, which is pretty cool. I think it made you do like twice the damage and you get half of them that you normally would. And back to grenade. So that's that. But to customize it, you're just going to hit Z. And on the rifle, there is no zoom. You just, for me, right click. I did mess with my keys a little bit. So, you know, like, I'll get the fire rate on these up a bit. But I'm going to show you what I did with my shock. Not shock. I'm going to show you what I did with my rifle. See right here? See that? This is a really cool rifle right here. It, it's an amazing rifle, and the sights do work. So, if you're worried about that the sights wouldn't work, or just be kind of lame, well, they're not. The sights actually work. And I'll show you the attachments in just a second. See this fishy? Bye-bye, Mr. Fish. There you go. See, I can't even, like... I can't even, like, just fire this gun without it just going off 
Okay, I, I can fire it normally, kind of, but it's a hair trigger. See? It, it, that wasn't even hard. Notice how easy that was? Am I firing like both of those points? Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna move this. And now I'm gonna show you the shotgun that I modified. On here, I have a stock on it, which is nice. There's a little bit less of a there's there's less of a bump on it whenever you have a stock on. It. Okay, guys, now time for the fun part: actually modifying the guns because very few gun mods have that available. I will say this, Mr. Crayfish did a great job with the guns. They are very vanilla looking, they're not the most realistic looking, but, I mean, you can't complain, they fire great, and the bullets and everything work great, you can't see anything going through the air. All you see is a flash, and then death, which is exactly how it should be. So let me show you. I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna get the machine pistol. I'm gonna put all of these heavy things up. Including the pistol. And I'll keep the pistol. You know, why not? You can stay on it for the ride. Let me see. I'm gonna put a light stock on it. Unfortunately I can't put anything under the barrel, but I will put a suppressor and a sight. Okay. Scoop over here, they're going to hit. You can't hit Z on the other part, you have to hit Z on the machine pistol. Okay, right here you can see what you can put on. See, no under barrel acceptable. But I can do that. That's what I don't like. I wish there was a piece of an under barrel. Oh well. Stop. Sorry. And now everything that can be on this pistol is on it. Function. I don't know. Fast rate of fire works great. You just sit here and slaughter the if I so choose to, but I'm not. You get the gist. This is another great feature that I love about Mr. Crayfish. Look at that! Bullet holes! Now they will not stay, of course, but they're there. You can also shoot out windows if you so choose to. This is really cool, so you can make yourself an assassin with this, basically, if you want it. See, there's an open. Now time for the handgun. There's very little that you can actually do with the handgun other than just make it flat out OP. So I'm gonna do this. I do like this mod. This is interesting. Never mind. I do like this. Okay. So I can essentially turn this... Okay, there's a thing you can do for your block. And that is... I don't know what it is. Get like a... You can put it into a special, I guess, harness it would be or something. Uh, all I know is it makes it look like a machine gun. I forget what it is. But this is essentially... Check this out. Don't get in my way, I don't want to kill you, you're a farmer. Yeah, so... This is really cool. You can just go shoot fish with a very quiet gun. You can just, like, set, sit on the shore and just... Pium, 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 like that. So simple. No one will ever know that you killed their chicken. No one will, no one will know. Now for the high-powered rifle, the heavy rifle. I'm just going to call it a high-powered rifle. I'm going to put this on it. I'm going to put this on it right here. Of course I'm going to put a good stick on it. And I'm going to hope that these do something. Okay. Z. Stock. Wait, no stock. Never mind. It already has a stock for some reason. We're going to do under barrel, and then I don't want to suppress her on there. See? It's really cool. Let me 
amazing. Now, I will say it takes about two shots for a villager. Here's another cool thing about this mod. It comes with enchanting books. So you got fire starter here. I think that applies to a grenade. So I'm going to check that out. Puncturing. I assume that applies to a rifle. Let's go in here. Go up here. That machine Nice. Fire starter. Never mind. That's a gun. Whoa, okay. There we go. What does that mean? I can kill something through a wall? Let's test this out. Let's see if this actually punctures or if it's just a. So we're going to see if this thing really works. There you go. Why? Are you gonna act dumb? Okay, it's not working. Whoa, it's start- Oh, the villagers just totally got lit by that. That's dangerous. So, it has puncturing, which I guess works on armor and not walls. It's still really cool, because if you're fighting someone with a ton of armor- Good luck, Charlie. On somebody's house, like at a distance, do this. And cause a fire. Before we go, I will test the grenade. I have tested this. You hold it, and then the pen comes out. It does not do block damage. So, your houses are safe unless you have a window in them. Chances are you do, so... Yeah, if you're somewhere where there's not a lot of sand and you want to mess with one of your friends, throw that at their window and see how happy they are. Okay. See guys, look at this. My ears are ringing, and yeah, let's flash the chickens. Yeah, if you're not right there, it's not going to do much for you, but it does make the chickens run wild. They are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. Which is funny, because some of my chickens were headless. Yeah, that's why I spawned new ones. I just went through my village and killed everyone except for two of the people in the church. And stuff, so. My village is fresh. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you do actually download Mr. Crayfish's gun mod. It is fantastic. You will not regret it. You do have to have one other mod downloaded with it. I forget what it's called, but I will put a link down in the description with it. So it's essentially two mods that you have to download. It's really not that bad, guys. It's no big deal. This is for version 1.16.4, and it works with 1.16.5, because that's what I'm currently using. He also has an earlier version available that I think works with 1.13. Or something like that but he developed these a little bit ago so they're compatible with a lot of different mods so you have nothing to worry about thank you for watching if you enjoyed any part of this video subscribe and leave a comment for more suggestions i love testing out gun mods i don't mind changing my game version if i have to i don't like doing it because I just don't like deleting Forge, downloading a new version of Forge, going into the game and changing things. It's not that bad, but I just don't like doing it. Thank you for watching. God bless.